In this gentle yoga session, we are going to be doing movements and postures that will help to strengthen and open your hips. So let's begin on all fours. And if you're having some issues with your knees, or you just like some extra padding, take a blanket and put it in the middle of your mat and come on to all fours. Now, we're going to push back into child's pose, but with our knees a little wider apart. So take your feet towards each other, take your knees a little wider apart, and stress back, stretch back into child's pose. Go ahead and take your forehead down into the mat. Now as you inhale, just feel the breath in your belly. But as you exhale, walk your fingers out. Feel the increased stretch just right along this side of the body, coming all the way back into your hips. So keep pressing your hips back. Just take a few more moments here. Noticing how your breath reacts to your body, how it moves in your body. And then let's come up to all fours and move into a modified plank. So you've got this diagonal from the crown of the head all the way down into the hips. Now, be careful not to let your hips sink below your heart. That's too hard on the back. And if you'd like to add a little tiny push-up, and for you, a little push-up might be just an inch. So Sharon, walk your hands out just a little further in front of your shoulders, good. If this is too much on your shoulders, you can take your hands wide to the mat. So maybe just add a tiny little push up, maybe half an inch, and then come back into child's pose. And again, separate your knees out. Feel a little more opening in your hips, nice. Feel that stretch along your back. Then again, come up into a modified plank. And hold it right there and we're going to come down but come down and let your heart come down before your hips taking it at your own pace but challenging yourself nice coming all the way down keeping your hands right beside your chest reaching through the feet and pressing right here with these hips down towards the mat or the blanket and then lifting your heart into a small cobra Sharon go ahead and stretch your feet out nice now press through the heels of your hands, come back up into child's pose. Go ahead, take your knees a little wider again. Start feeling that opening in the hip sockets, good. Take a breath. And let's do that one more time. Let's come into a modified plank. See that your hands are right under your shoulders. Again, it's okay to take the hands wider if you need to. And then bring yourself down slowly, taking your heart down before your hips. And from here, lift back up into Cobra. Reach to the heart center. Feel that length in your spine, all the way from the back of the head, all the way down through the feet. Now press through the heels of your hands. Come back up and come back into child's pose. I can take the legs a little wider. Take another breath here. Inhale, and as you exhale, go ahead and walk your fingers out again. Feel that increased stretch right along the flank muscles in the side. Now come up to all fours. And again, if you're protecting your knees, take them right onto the blanket. Take your knees about hip width apart. Now take your right foot back and straighten your right leg. Come up on the ball of your right foot. Press all the way through this heel. Feel that lengthening through the back of the leg. Now take the right knee down. Take the left foot back. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Come up on the ball of the foot. Press, feel that stretch all the way down the back of the leg. Take the left knee down. Take the right foot back again, just like we did. This time, take the left arm up and reach out through the fingertips. Use your abdominals. Pull the belly button into the spine. Use your strong core to support you here. Breathe. Here's your option. Stay here, or if you'd like, lift this back leg. Keeping it straight, keep pressing back through the foot. Nice, keep breathing. Keep your chin and your jaw soft. Come back to all fours. And let's do the other side. Coming back on your left leg, coming up on the ball of the foot, and then bringing the other arm up. 
Now remember, if you're ever protecting a knee or any other part of your body, always give yourselves the option to do just part of the pose or half of the pose. So the option here now is to lift the back leg. If it's not right for your body, then make the modifications, don't do it. Take the hands back down, and now take the knees right beside each other. We're gonna move into a movement to help strengthen the hip. So keeping the knees together, lift the right, begin by lifting the right knee up. Out to the side, bring it out to the side, good. Now try not to let yourself fall over onto your left hip, so keep pressing that left hip in, and then make some circles with the right knee. Starting small, maybe getting a little larger, just feel that movement in your hip socket. Going as wide as is appropriate for you. And then reverse the circles, good. Come back the other way. Just notice how that movement feels in your hip. Bring your right knee down beside your left knee. Let's do the same thing on the other side. And again, if you're protecting a knee, maybe you won't do one side as long as the other. You may need to work up to that. But if you push in through your hands, you'll take a little bit of that pressure off of the supporting knee. And now when you're ready, reverse the circles. And then bring the knees back together and press back into a regular child's pose. Walk the hands out, good. Feel the stretch there. Now lift your wrist and come up on your fingertips here and take the outer edges of your armpits down towards the mat. So feel that opening between the shoulders. Now take the hands down, come back up to all fours. Keep the knees together and go ahead and let your hips come over to the left side. Take both hips and start feeling that stretch on the outside of the hip. Now come back up to the center and let's move to the other side. Take both hips over to the right. Start feeling that stretch right here on the outside of the hip. Come back up to the center. Let's come to the other side. And again, come back up to the center and let's stretch the hips back to the right. And come back up. Take your knees a little wider apart and come back into child's pose one more time. Stretch the arms out. And just take a breath here. Okay.